fixeasy.com bringing you a repair video today on an Apple iPhone 5. In today's video, we're going to show you the steps necessary to remove and replace your iPhone's volume and power buttons. Before we get started with our disassemble, let's review our suggested tools. Small Phillips screwdriver. Small flathead screwdriver. Suction cup. A spudger iPhone 5 point pentalobe screwdriver, fine tipped curved tweezers. Let's begin the entry into our iPhone 5 starting with the two pentalobe screws. We have one on either side of our lightning port connector. With these two pentalobe screws removed, we want to utilize a suction cup on the front face of our screen closest to our home button. Once we have a small bit of separation created, you'll notice we used our fingernail to continue that separation to allow our display assembly to be lifted up and reveal our iPhone's internals. There is a small metal cover protecting the connections for our display assembly. Go ahead and remove the three Phillips screws that are securing it into place. And once that protective plate is removed, you'll notice the three connections for our display assembly that we can gently pry up on, and it should now be free for removal. With our display assembly separated from the rest of our iPhone, we can now bring our attention to removing the battery. You will notice that the connection for our battery is protected with a metal cover. Let's go ahead and remove the three Phillips screws that are securing this cover into place. And gently pry up on the battery's connection to release it. Now to completely remove the battery from the iPhone, we need to pry it up out of its secure location. Unfortunately, this time around, Apple decided to put a lot of adhesive to secure this battery in place. Be careful when prying this battery up as you might cause damage to it, so please do use caution and a little bit of patience, but eventually it will come out of the phone. Next, we're going to start removing the screws that are securing the motherboard in place, starting with our three Phillips screws here. Additionally, near the vibrator motor securing it in place, we have three Phillips screws that need to be removed as well. With those three removed, we can now lift the vibrator motor out of the phone. We have four connectors that need to be lifted so that we can remove our interconnection cable. With our interconnection cable removed, it's going to reveal an additional Phillips screw that we can go ahead and take out. Let's use a small flathead screwdriver to extract the three standoffs at this time.
There is the final two Phillips screws in the top of the iPhone that we need to extract as well. This will free the motherboard from the iPhone. Let's not completely remove it as we still have a small coaxial plug that needs to be disconnected. With our coaxial plug disconnected, we can now get the motherboard out of the way and work towards removing our power and volume buttons. The power and volume buttons are held with a series of screws. We've got three Phillips that are down on the volume button side and two Phillips up by the top of the power button. as well as a single standoff that needs a small flathead for removal. Before we can remove the assembly from the phone, there is a small metal clip that secures the camera flash into place. Let's go ahead and remove this clip. And now to lift the assembly from the phone, it's a matter of utilizing your spudger, a little bit of patience, and some gentle prying and maneuvering, and we'll be able to remove it for replacement. All of the parts and tools you've seen today in this video are available at www.fixeasy.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.